Out-of-place artifacts, also known as old parts, are of great interest because they exist in a place or time that challenges historical chronology. People are captivated by scenarios that are meant to be impossible, and interest is always high when we don't understand something. Human logic tells us that there is an explanation for everything, and when that explanation is not apparent, we develop theories like time travel, aliens, different dimensions, or even magic. So here are five more out-of-place artifacts that I think are very interesting to talk about. This is the second episode on our series of out-of-place artifacts, so be sure to watch the first one for more mysterious objects that will make you question their origins. The Ayud Aluminum Wedge In 1974, an aluminum wedge was found 2 kilometers east of Ayud, Romania. The wedge was discovered on the banks of the Mars River in about 35 feet of sand, next to two fossilized mastodon bones. Ufologists have given three reasons why the aluminum wedge suggests that aliens may have visited Earth in the past. The first reason was the age of the artifact. Scientists used carbon-14 dating to determine the age of the bones, and they were estimated to be 11,000 years old. Researchers also estimated the wedge to be from the same time period. The presence of the prehistoric bones certainly adds to the allure of the artifact. The second reason is that an engineer claimed that the wedge resembles the foot landing gear similar to space aircrafts during the 1970s. Florin Gheogida, a ufologist from Romania, jumped on the bandwagon. He conducted his own research on landing gear designs and also concluded that the wedge was simply a smaller version. He was undoubtedly convinced that the wedge was part of an alien spacecraft, but scientists do say otherwise. They believe the wedge was man-made, although they offer no explanation as to what it might have been used for. Scientists are also unable to explain why it was buried so deep among mastodon bones, along with the bones being left undisturbed. The third and probably most convincing argument is that the wedge is made of 100% aluminum, which was not discovered until 1808. Furthermore, it was not mass produced until 1885. Aluminum needs 1000 degrees of direct heat to be extracted. It requires a complicated process of purifying bauxite to produce aluminum oxide from which aluminum can be extracted. The oxide date of the aluminum wedge was dated to be at least 300 years old before the discovery of aluminum. Ufologists use the argument that aliens may have been the ones to leave this interesting piece of artifact behind. Thousands of years ago, while humans lived in caves, Aliens built sophisticated aircrafts and explored planets, with Earth being one of them. The Kensington Runestone The Kensington Runestone is one out-of-place artifact that has been highly debated as a hoax for over a century until it was recently re-examined in 1994. It was in 1898 when Swedish immigrant Olaf Onman found the stone in central Minnesota. Olaf was preparing to plow his land for farming. And there it was, wrapped up within the roots of a 30-year-old tree. The rune stone was lying face down and weighed over 200 pounds. The slab was huge at 76 centimeters long and it had etched markings. Olaf thought he had discovered an Indian almanac. Instead, the stone was marked with Scandinavian writing probably from the 14th century, the year 1362 to be exact. The writing on the slab gives great detail of the members of an expedition from Vinland. It mentions how 22 Norwegians left for an expedition and came back to find 10 of their men dead. History states that there was a Scandinavian expedition in the 14th century to North America. There is documentation of at least one short-lived settlement at the time. The writing on the slab can give more insight into why the colony did not survive. 
When the stone was initially sent to the University of Minnesota, a Scandinavian language professor had declared it as a hoax. It was passed by several experts with various inconsistent findings as to the authenticity of the stone. Some thought it was a prank, and others could not identify any historical context. As recent as 1994, Professor Robert Hall from Cornell University published a book questioning the methods of those who disregarded the runestone. He claimed the language could have been an authentic variation of Old Swedish. He was also convinced that the physical evidence was insufficient to rule the stone as a forgery. The Saqqara Bird When we think of the first humans to achieve flight, the Wright brothers, with their successful powered airplane, probably comes to mind. But is it possible that flight could have been achieved thousands of years earlier? The Saqqara Bird is a wooden model of a bird that was found in perfect condition in Saqqara, Egypt. It was made of sycamore wood, has a wingspan of 7.2 inches, and weighs 39.1 grams. The words, I want to fly, is carved underneath the bird, and archaeologists have dated it back to 200 BC. This amazing artifact was discovered at a large burial site next to Egypt's oldest step pyramid, and is said to hold the solution to a remarkable puzzle. Could the ancient Egyptians genuinely have the technology of flying over 4,000 years ago? The Saqqara bird's aerodynamic perfection is impressive. The design of the wing and the fuselage is just like modern aircraft engineering, but how could this be? It required a very long series of studies to determine whether the ancient Egyptians genuinely knew how to fly. A team of researchers in Liverpool, England, built a model of the Saqqara bird that was five times larger than its original size. This was the first step in comprehending the Egyptians' aerodynamic abilities. The Saqqara bird was put through the same set of testing as a modern fighter aircraft. By using data for wind tunnel studies, it was able to pass every scientific study that current technology is capable of providing. They created a virtual 3D landscape model of the ancient Giza Plateau, and they could fly the Saqqara bird in the model's 3D space. The Saqqara bird soared smoothly through the air like an eagle crossing the Egyptian desert. What was the true purpose of the Saqqara bird? Was it used as an actual model for flight? Or was it just a decorative wooden figure? What do you think? Then they are light. In the upper Egyptian temple complex of Dendera lies a stone carving at the Hathor temple. It is situated in a long underground hallway that runs parallel to the main temple and is entirely covered in bas-relief carvings. Entry and access are both restricted, and unless you are accompanied by an official Egyptian guide, you will not be allowed in. The pictorial carvings of the Dendera light has sparked plenty of controversy in Egyptian history. Some say it proves that the ancient Egyptians had a modern lighting system and electricity. Those with less imagination say it's just the lotus flower. The base of the light resembles a coil or stand, and within the bulb appears to be a long, incandescent wick. Supporters of the electricity theory says that the use of light bulbs explain why there are no lamp back deposits on the walls of hieroglyphics. When using a natural source of fire, like candlelight, it is expected to see suit deposits in the illuminated area. There are five scenes in the temple containing the bulbs. The repetition of these images gives excellent context to the importance of the lights. Engineers have created a working model by closely following the dimensions of the hieroglyphics. The models are spot on. Several authors have also published books explaining how the lamp could have been constructed and powered with the resources and conditions of ancient Egypt. Is it a light bulb or just a lotus flower? What do you think? 
by gong pipes. According to local legends, Mount Baigong in China's Qinghai province may have once served as an extraterrestrial research facility. Three triangle openings at the mountain's foot leads to hundreds of decaying metal pipe-like constructions of unknown origin. Over 60 upright pipe-like features, about 10 to 40 centimeters in diameter, were also found protruding from Mount Baigong above the largest cave in addition to the mystery pyramid that stands atop the mountain. The rusty pipes extend from deep beneath the mountain to a saltwater lake 260 feet away, with diameters ranging from needle-like to 16 inches. Numerous hollow pipes are uniform in size and appear to have been positioned on purpose. The ancient artifacts couldn't have been put there by modern humans since they are buried deep into the mountain's wall and floor. The shocking conclusion is that the pipes were not created by human hands. Naturally, it must be aliens. The initial researchers to investigate the underground phenomenon concluded that the pipes comprised of 92% common minerals and metals and 8% unidentified substances. The logical conclusion is that these reddish tubes were brought here from another planet as a part of an extraterrestrial construction effort. A rusted satellite dish is mounted near the site and serves as a monument. It shows how much support the alien community has received. The Chinese Academy of Social Science isn't ruling aliens out either. They say it's a possibility that the pyramids may have been built by intelligent beings. They did not dismiss the theory that aliens may have played a part in the construction of the pipes. They said it's worth looking into and science would have to determine if there's any truth. Some recent scientists think the metallic pipes are actually castings of fossilized tree roots. Others argue that if it is a natural phenomenon, why aren't similar reconstructions found on other mountain ranges? It is possible that many of these out-of-place artifacts have a perfectly reasonable explanation for why they are there. There are likely bits and pieces of history that we have not yet uncovered, but don't be so quick to rule out paranormal or extraterrestrial options either. Do we have any solid proof that aliens have not been on Earth? Can we say for sure that paranormal activities do not play a part? The discovery of out place artifacts is a simple case of the more we know, the less we know. It's an exciting discovery that leaves us with more questions than answers. Thanks for watching our Late Night Top 5 channel. We're a new channel and would love to have your support by subscribing, liking, or simply dropping a comment down below. To watch more interesting late night videos, click the links to continue watching more.